Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back with another episode. And today, we're looking at some more Mego figures. Ah, come on, more Mego. I hate to be this guy, but it's pronounced Mego. Okay. See, there you go. Anyway, like I was saying- What's next week's review? Some Lego playset? <sighs> Ooh, what's your favorite dinosaur gorilla? Mine's Stegosaurus. Are you done? No. You know what? I'm really hungry. All I had for breakfast was a frozen ego waffle. <sighs> Raz Holly hit the music. Never hear it on the radio Never hear it on a TV show And it always is a nerd Never have a kid no pain Because the fuck do you think we're playing? As long as we are here And it always is a nerd Playing for rock it is our game Make the heat just bleed all the same Pass me another beer So back in the Dukes of Hazard episode, I mentioned Mego Corporation and the 8-inch clothed figures that dominated the toy market in the 1970s. Today, we're going to take a look at a few of the newer Mego figures released in 2018 as part of the big revival, specifically Married with Children. In the 1980s and 90s, the family sitcom ruled the TV dial. Shows like The Cosby Show, Growing Pains, and different strokes were among some of the standouts. By the late 80s, sitcoms really hit their stride. They were all over the dial. And the family sitcom had been boiled down to its tropes with the saccharine sweet full house, and on the other side you had the thinking man sitcom, Frasier. And another sitcom managed to be the opposite of both, and that was motherfucking married with children. Married with Children was the ultimate anti-sitcom. Al Bundy, the central character, played by Ed O'Neill, is a shoe salesman who relishes the memories of his high school football glory. He's kind of a lovable loser. His wife Peg, played by the smoking hot Katie Seagal, is a red-haired layabout who spends her days in front of the TV, smoking Marlboros and eating bonbons, yet maintained a really great figure. And if you hadn't figured it out yet, Peggy Bundy was my big adolescent celebrity crush. Gross, Gorilla. Ah, shut the fuck up, Jess. Their oldest child, Kelly, played by Christina Applegate, is the quintessential ditzy blonde rocker chick teenage delinquent. And the youngest, Bud, played by David Faustino, is a greasy preteen boy who's constantly doing what teenage boys do. Ah, that's even more gross, Gorilla! <laughs> yeah, it is. Finally, there's Buck the Dog, who, unlike Mego, I didn't forget. This show was awesome. For ten seasons, it was full of lowbrow jokes, wacky scenarios, and adult situations that flew in the face of convention at the time before every other goddamn thing became extreme or anti-establishment. Anyway, Mego, as part of their big revival, released a shit ton of new 8-inch clothed figures to mixed results. These came out in waves and had no cross-sell or anything on the back of the boxes, so unless you were some online booger eater following along at every step, you'd have no idea what characters they were going to release or when. Mego released three of four Bundies, five if you count Buck. I got all three, so let's take a look. Okay, so let's start with the packaging here. Um, we'll start with the Al Bundy package. We might as well, I mean, guess look at all of them, but they all look the same. Um, across the top, we have the logo. Uh, we have the name of the character, Al Bundy. It says TV favorites. Married with children, ages eight and up. Classic eight inch figure. Marty Abrams presents Mego. Uh, the Mego logo, your officially limited edition action figure with original detail and quality. 14 point articulation. 
Uh, warning, choking hazard comes with small parts, obviously. Um, and then each one is numbered. Mine is 5,291 of 10,000. Ooh, um, and you can tell already inside the box um, that this bears really no resemblance to Ed O'Neill uh, whatsoever. I don't know if there was some sort of licensing issue that kept them from being able to make these look like who they were supposed to look like. They only had the license to make the characters. Um, and even in that, I don't know that it necessarily is going to... Uh, be very familiar to anyone as you take a look at it. But let's take a look at the back of the box. Um, each one, uh, we are treated to this lovely fucking illustrator uh, cross-sell. I know I said before there were no cross-sell, but oh, I was wrong. Look at this. Um, there's a, a cap and, and a, uh, a diploma for Kelly Bundy. A, what appears to be a box of turds for Peg Bundy and a, and a bowling ball. And they're the very most 2D goddamn things I've ever seen. Um, so well, but, but beyond that, let's look at officially licensed, detailed, 8-inch character, authentic retro packaging. What? What the fuck does that mean? Was this a recycled box from the 1970s? Pose figure in any action position. I don't know what that means either. Um, I can come up with a lot of action positions you can't pose the figure in. Original Mego line, or I'm sorry, original Mego toy line quality. <laughs> oh shit. Limited edition, numbered for collectability, that's true. Collect them all. Um, and then of course, we get uh, Marty's face. Mego Marty, I'm sorry, Mego Marty, right there on the back on every single box. Um, Marty Abrams, AKA the father of the action figure, has relaunched these figures in response to overwhelming demand. Mego, pronounced Mego Corp, was started by his father, David Abrams, in 1954 and named by his younger brother, Howard, who would say Mego too. Charming. Howard later became head of sales for the company, Mego Corp, sold over 20 million of its now standard 8-inch action heroes worldwide, and Mego Corporation is proud to take over that fine heritage today. Um, it, they failed to mention the part where he was uh, convicted of uh, uh, tax evasion and, and wire fraud and sent to jail, um, but whatever. Here it is. Um, let's take a look at the next one. Peggy Bundy! Um, this was the most common of the two of Alan Peg that, that you're gonna find. Um, and you see she comes with her box of, uh, says chocolate on there. Um, they're, they're supposed to be, I guess, bonbons, as they would say on the show. Um, yeah, and then one thing I didn't mention is that there's little, uh, little, little word balloons in here. Uh, this one says, I hate work. Um, and uh, that's why I got married. Uh, Al says, strike as if he's going on strike, as opposed to strike. Uh, but it's the same shit everywhere. Um, and each one of these has a little fun trivia question on the back. You get these uh, the, the great art on the back. Um, yeah, it's this, this original Mego toy line quality. I mean, I guess I wouldn't know. I didn't collect these things growing up, so whatever. Uh, this one's individually numbered as well. It's number 2,543 out of 10,000. whoop shit There's a million of these fucking laying around in every Target I've been to. Um, been on clearance since forever. Finally, Kelly Bundy. Um, she might have been the hardest one to find, I guess, when I was originally looking for these. You do still see them around, though. Um, these things have been sitting in clearance and and uh, on the, on the shelves for you know, a few years now. Um, and it says uh, tricking them was as easy as one to see. Oh, 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 the joke is, is that she's stupid. Like this figure, she comes with a uh, diploma and a purse. Um, I searched high and low for this outfit online um i could not find a picture of one that looked 
similar to this. Um, I'm sure there's, I'm sure some booger eating Mego fanboy will, will bring up, well, this was actually from episode, whatever, dude. Um, this is not an iconic outfit, and we'll, we'll see what an iconic outfit looks like later on. Uh, Bax got the same thing. Hey, in which season did Kelly almost get married? It was season 11. Fucking spoilers. Now I know these aren't vintage figures or anything, um, but I still relish ripping these dumb boxes open. So uh, let's get them open. So, remember in the last episode when I said to remember, remember the quality, remember how nice, remember the likenesses of the actors that these were supposed to be representing um, last time. Remember that. Remember <laughs> what these things uh, uh, looked like. And now, here we are. Here's, here's Ed O'Neill and Katie Seagal and Christina Applegate. You wouldn't know who these characters were supposed to be out of contest, with the exception of Katie Seagal with Peggy Bundy, because she's basically wearing the Peggy Bunny, Bundy, I'm sorry, Peggy Bundy uniform. Um, you would know who this is supposed to be. You take this off and you put on just whatever, you put on the Kelly Bundy outfit, It's you wouldn't be able to tell. You ask anybody on the street, even a fan of the show, you'd be like, uh, who is this supposed to be? I don't know, it's some lady with red hair. And that's really the problem with these things. They're okay. I mean, they're fairly poseable. You can do all sorts of wild freaking poses with them. They do pose better than the NECA Ninja Turtles. Um, and, and it's the same thing with any old Mego figure. Here's Al Bundy. He looks okay, but like, is it really like, did, does this look like who it's supposed to be? He's got this kind of like freaking weird look on his face. Like, hmm, hmm. Like, what is that supposed to be? What it, what, it, what is this representing? Um, this is... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it looks okay, and it, I guess it would be fine if you left these things in the box, and I guess that's what you're supposed to do nowadays. Well, what's the point? Why don't you take a picture of it? Why don't you just look at it while you're in the store? Because they're just going to be there forever. It, wh what's the point? What is the point of getting these figures if you're not going to take them out and look at them and experience them and see what they look like on the backside? Finally, there she is, Christina Applebee's as uh, Kelly Bundy. Um, is this supposed to be a, a crucifix or a cross? I don't remember her wearing a, a necklace with a jug on it, because um, that's that's what it looked. And then, and then it, it wants to be twisted. So when I saw it in the package, I thought it was like a strap or like overalls or something. I, I don't recall seeing an outfit uh, like this on the show. Um, again, posable, got all the points of articulation. That was not a lie. Uh, the face, it's, I mean, it's not a bad looking sculpt, but who is this? Who is this supposed to be? If, out of context, would you know that this is supposed to be Kelly Bundy? Probably not. It's a girl in a red dress. I mean, it's great if you're one of those guys that likes to make custom uh, Migos. Sure, that's fine. But for someone that wants, you know, married with children figures, uh, these aren't going to be the ones that you want. You're going to want to go and drop the money on the figures toy company figures that came out a few years ago. And those weren't the most attractive looking thing, but at least they had a better resemblance to the characters on the show. Um, and here's something I noticed. They painted on her underwear. <laughs> and her legs are dyed red from the dress. Yeah, my hands dyed red. Oh my god. I, it, it's fucking, it's getting all over the place. What is this? All right, let's take a look at these, uh, these accessories. Um, we have the chocolate exclamation. So it's chocolate! Um, I mean, it looks fine. It looks like a little box of chocolates, I guess. And, and this would be the most appropriate one for, uh, for Peggy Bundy. She's actually the best one. She's the best one of the bunch. Um, she fits the resemblance of the character the most and um, looks the most like who it's supposed to look like. Yeah, 
I mean, she's as close as you're gonna get to uh, to the characters is, is in these three. And um, and then that was it. She came with the little box of chocolates, and that's that's Peggy. Uh, Al, here he is. Um, here's here's weird looking Al Bundy. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Um, I'm not at O'Neill. Mm, I'm his brother, Fred O'Neill. Mm, mm. He comes with a trophy. It says nothing on it. There's no detail. Um, yep. I, I guess it's it's his uh, Polk High four touchdowns in one game trophy or bowling trophy. I, I don't know. Finally, here here's here's uh, Kelly Kelly Bundy. Um, she comes with a purse, a handbag that goes with her outfit, I guess, and she comes with a uh, high school diploma uh, with the with the the, the, the Migo seal on it. I don't, I don't think uh, Migo High School is an accredited uh, organization, but whatever. Uh, hey, look, it's signed by Marty Abrams, the principal of, of, of Polk High School, Migo. Uh, look at all the detail on this. And, and look, it's actually, here, look at this. It's repurposed. It's a flag. <laughs> There's little pegs for it to go into whatever. It's a little flag, and they just stuck this sticker on there and uh, called it a diploma. Finally today, let's take a look at this uh, this set from Funko of all fucking companies. Um, it was the 2018 Fall Convention exclusive. I know that they had these at New York Comic Con uh, that year. Uh, Married with Children, collectible action figures, figurines, a collectionaire, it's all in a bunch of different uh, languages as they are nowadays. You've got Al Bundy, you've got Peggy Bundy, you've got Kelly Bundy, and you've got Bud Bundy. Um, these are all very iconic looks for uh, said characters. You can tell who they're supposed to be. And also, they're in super tiny scale. These things are about, they're less than three, three, three and three quarters. They're about three inches tall. Um, on the back, inexplicably, you have the, the logo with the characters in the Hollywood Hills in the background. Uh, 2018 Sony Pictures Television Inc. All rights reserved. It was like, we really need to put something on the back of this. And they threw something together in a few minutes, and this is what we ended up with. Um, but let's see what they look like outside of the box. So here they are all out of the box and man they look pretty great like I really wanted to rip on these things but they're they're actually pretty cool um let's start with bud because we didn't get to get to a bud figure um in the the Mego line um but the Funko bud has his uh, signature mullet from the early 90s <laughs> that's awesome um his outfit sneakers uh Sweater, it's pretty basic, whatever. Um, they're posable. They've got eh, pretty good. Oh, look, look at that. The elbows come out. The, yeah, not too bad. Pretty good posability. Um, let's take a look at Kelly. Oh, you want to talk about an iconic outfit I've seen before? This is from the fucking opening credits. This would be what you'd want to use. It wouldn't have been that difficult to put a Mego figure in this outfit, and you would have known who it was supposed to have been. I'm not going to go through the fucking articulation on these things. It's pretty obvious as to what it is. Finally, there's Al Bundy. Um, he looks like Al Bundy. Like, he's got his little blue shirt on. Um, the likeness is looks way more like Ed O'Neill than the Mego figure. Go figure. This figure's super tiny. Like, hold it in my hand. And, um, yeah pretty awesome. You could throw them in your pocket and take them with you. You people would know who this is supposed to be. Finally, there she is. Katie Segal as Peggy Bundy is a, a fantastic likeness. The hair looks awesome. The sculpt is fantastic. The outfit is perfect. Um, right down to the, the shoes. I didn't talk about the shoes, did I? The shoes on the fucking stupid Mego figure. Give me a second. Why, why are there feathers? Why, what? Have you ever seen a pair of shoes that looks like this? 
Like, what the, what, what, what the, what is this supposed, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. The, this, 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 or, or this. This looks like shoes that exist. This looks like something from fucking Star Trek that would be on somebody's face. Even the best, the best figure out of the three Mego figures for the, for the Married with Children Migos, the, the best one, is this. This is the shoes. Just, just keep that in mind. If you were going to pick successful TV shows to make Mego 8-inch figures for that in a different world may have been made at the time, it's tough to argue with Married with Children. The result, however, leaves me wanting. I have to think that if the original Mego Corp continued to exist to present day, the Married with Children figures might have looked more like their on-screen counterparts and less like the custom fodder that had been choking the toy aisles for the past three years. I'm glad that Mego is back and releasing new figures, and some of them have been pretty fucking sweet, like the Star Trek Mirror Mirror figure sets. But even in that line, we haven't seen as much consistency as I would like. Bottom line is that these figures are okay, but aren't as good as they could have been, and that is disappointing. Well, that's Mego Married with Children. What did you think of these characters? Did you pick these up? And how do you think they compare to the older figures from the 1970s? Ah, please, tell me we're done with Mego. It's pronounced Mego. Nerd. And there's more to come. What the fuck? Raz Holly hit the music.